This is a combination of two exercises, 25-1-1-A, adding paper space dimensions the annotative way, and 25-1-2-A, adding paper space dimensions the other way. We will start in drawing floor plan 25A. My dim layer is current, and I've already made the modifications to the textile that the book mentions. We'll open model space through the viewport, like so, and we'll enter our dimensions. Now when we go back into paper space, you can't tell that our dimensions are actually located in model space. If we go back to model space though, you can see that our dimensions actually appear in model space. The good news, though, is that they are all annotative. They will all change as required by the drawing. Now let's put this drawing down, and we'll take a look at floor plan 25A new. This time, let me make an adjustment. Make sure I've got enough room to work. This time, we're going to put all of our dimensions in paper space you'll notice that as I put these dimensions in, even though I'm in paper space, it's AutoCAD is actually giving me model space dimensions. And I can continue. But if I go to model space in this drawing, you'll see that I have not cluttered model space with dimensions. All of my dimensions take place in paper space where they won't interfere with the model.